Hey guys, Adriana Jimenez joined here with world-renowned trainer Freddie Roach. Freddie, it's great to see you again. We cannot wait for this great fight, Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman has been very vocal, as we've all heard, even today saying that he's going to knock out Manny Pacquiao in six rounds or less. What do you make of all these comments from him? It's okay. I mean, I talk to him, so like, it's, uh, I, I, uh, I talk bravely about my my fighter because I because we're in great shape and, he, and uh, he's working really hard every day he's over Thurman uh, just uh, he just better show up in this fight that's all I have to say I mean because uh, I don't think I don't see all the greatness I don't you know I mean our sparring partners are tougher than he is and uh, come on I uh, you know like all his sparring partners many has beat all every one of them He's been, okay, all right. Well, so the things that Keith Thurman has said, does Manny Pacquiao use them as motivation? Do you, have you seen anything different because Keith Thurman has been extra vocal, let's say? This is the first time I've seen Manny take it and use it as motivation, yes. Because he's a little bit upset about that. He, I, I don't think he was expecting that, that to come out. But um, it didn't. It, it, yeah, I, I love when Manny goes in not liking his opponent because he fights even better. So what are you expecting to see from Manny Pacquiao? What, do you, what are we going to see him do to Keith Thurman on fight night? Well, a lot depends on what Thurman does, uh, who's going to press the action and who's going to be the counter puncher and so forth. Uh, we're definitely ready for, for both, yes, but the thing is, um, you won't see it until it happens. So, and uh, you know, if Thurman wants to come and fight, okay, no problem. If he wants to run, we will chase him down. Yeah. Are you guys gunning, gunning for the KO? Uh, no, we don't. We never go out there looking for a KO. I mean, the KOs come and come and go. I mean, if a knockout comes, that's a bonus. And uh, winning the fight is the most important thing for us. Right. In the past, a lot of boxing analysts said that uh, Keith Thurman was the next Floyd Mayweather. Do you see any similarities in them? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Just flat out no. <laughs> flat out. Come on, man. No. no. That's a dream. His last three fights show you right away that he, I mean, he doesn't, he's, his name doesn't belong in that class. All right. Well, what about the real one? He's obviously, Floyd Mayweather is retired, but with the victory over Keith Thurman, will you guys demand, will you, de will you demand for him to come back? Are you sure he's, he's retired? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Maybe I, you, you know a little bit more than I do. No, 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 I, 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 I mean, that's the only fight I want back. I mean, I, I, I was disappointed in my... Help, help me to get ready for that fight, and um, I would like to fight that one one more time, but um, we'll see. So a healthy Manny Pacquiao defeats Floyd Mayweather if he comes back? In my opinion, yes. Freddie, uh, if I, before I let you go, uh, lastly, if I can just get a quick question. Um, I haven't really talked to you since Andy Reese became world champion after defeating um, Anthony Joshua. It's been a while, but I haven't gotten to talk to you. Um, with the rematch, being worked out. How do you see that playing out? You know, Andy's a great kid, a great, and he's always been a great puncher. I trained him for like four years here, and uh, he's always been a great athlete. His combinations are great, and uh, I always say, if someone takes him lightly and goes into a fight with him, yeah. they're in trouble. And that's what happened last fight, and and it might happen again. Uh, and I'm, I'm pulling for Andy. He's a, he's a great kid, and uh, I'm I'm really happy for him. Yeah. Would you advise Anthony Joshua to to get the rematch right away, or would you prefer or advise him to you know get one or two tune-up fights before the rematch? Uh, it just depends what how his work ethic is. I mean, if he wants to work hard and and, and do the right things, he, he has a chance to win the fight. But if he doesn't and, and takes him lightly again, he'll he'll get knocked out again. In my opinion, but the thing is, uh, I like the heavyweight division with the fights going on right now, and uh, there's a lot of good fight fighters out there. You know, who's the best heavyweight in the world right now? You know, is it really the Gypsy King or not? I'm not sure. So I like him, but how do you rank them? Can you can you rank them? I think the Gyp the Gypsy King is the best fighter, best heavyweight at this point. Okay. But again. Um, he showed us. He showed me so much heart when he got up from that knockdown. Yeah. That as uh, I still don't really know how he got up <laughs> because it, it didn't. It didn't look like he was going to get up. Right. I mean, but uh, yeah. he did. And his his balance was good. His equilibrium. He and he won the rest of the round. Yeah. I mean, so he's um, he's a, he's another dangerous guy. Yeah. 
So if if um, if Gypsy King is number one, where does Wilder come into play with the rest of the uh, the heavyweights? Well, well, you know, Wilder's a, a great puncher and uh, the best puncher in the heavyweight division right now. I feel and can knock anyone out. He, again, he's one of those guys. Don't take him lightly because you better be in shape for him because you he's, he's going a long way. Right, right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Freddie, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Good luck on fight night. Thank you so much.